be back to home, pick up all of his items, and then uh, just throw an Iron Shell on the Nyx Assassin before he leaves. Actually, right. oh, the Nyx Assassin actually comes in. The Impale hits right as the Nightmare ends. Air is quite low, and there's a stun on Domain just to buy some time to run away. Do they have enough damage to follow through? Eris running as fast as he can. Should be a getaway quite low. Nyx Assassin, no mana. There we oh. go. There's the mana back, and there's the Impale. They catch him once again. A couple more hits, and that's going to be the kill for Waxy. Very well played there. Yeah, this is the worry, though. Look at this Darks here. He's actually maybe going to die to the Fatal Bonds oh. if this Warlock keeps on getting the damage onto him. Uh, nice little job there by the Tiny to dodge away from it, and the Life Stealer about to have his Midas completed at six and a half minutes. I mean, this is the worry, they might even kill off the Darkseer. Yeah, Darkseer does get caught out quite a bit too far, surges, but has to run the other way for now, is going to get the last hit in from Eris. That goes the kill to Lena, and now tied 1-1. This is a level three Iron Shell, so he needs to be a little wary uh, after the Rage wears off there. Yeah, just using it to make sure that he can keep up in CS, of course, like you said, with that Midas. Oh, actually, Bane maybe goes a little bit too deep. There's the Avalanche, there's the Light Strike, and that is going to be a kill going once again to Lina. He did get the ward at the very least, but yeah, not uh, not the best in the world. Um, on the other hand, he's a Bane. Whatever, he dies, he gets the ward. <laughs> it's probably actually fine. Right, mission accomplished at the end of the day. Oh. Oh, Burrow Strike right on top of that sound store. And there's a stun, but we do see the spin coming in. Meanwhile, Eris actually gets caught out a little bit with the Impale. Nyx Assassin shows up in time. It's going to be enough. Eris oh. goes down. The Omni Slash hits. And now we do have the Sand King caught out with the Nightmare Bane, just putting a couple extra hits in. Juggernaut does want to be careful, and there's the Burrow Strike to get out. Pretty even in movements around the map. This is what happens when you have a Life Stealer just as able to get free farm down bottom, pick up a six minute Midas. Yeah, it seems like Signal Ultra kind of happy to be patient, especially with how things have been going with the Life Stealer, but we do have. A nice rotation showing up with the smoke. Juggernaut comes in as well. The avalanche onto the Ember Spirit, but maybe used a little bit too early. There's the Fiend's Grip. Tiny doesn't have a way out. Nyx Assassin showing up as well. There's the Impale. That's zero exits for you and the kill going to GIG on that Juggernaut as well. All right, both sides kind of trying to play a patient, seeing where the moves are, but Signal Ultra uh, seeming a little bit more confident in how the game's going. The slower pace seem, seems to be favoring them, although they've had a couple... Jug saw them here. here. They, yeah. they know he's here. This yeah, is Juggernaut got Maybe caught right in between the trees, and that's just a complete chain of stuns. Everything used to, to secure that kill. And now a lot of damage trying to be put onto that tier one. The fortification comes in. Nyx Assassin trying to look for a catch from behind. Ember Spirit goes in from above. Gets a slight, and there's a nightmare. They catch one out. It's going to be Sam King. He burrow strikes out. Gets both as he's trying to make an escape. Now Tiny shows up, goes for the blink, and then there's the toss. Bane almost going down instantly, but still alive for now. Gets the life steal out. He's running away. Meanwhile, there's the impale onto the Lena. We do have a kill on each side as we have Nando on the other side of the map, picking up the rune. Meanwhile, the fight continues as Ember Spear chases through. Gets a lot of damage, and Juggernaut teleports into the shrine. Sand King now trying to stay alive in the sandstorm. We do have Tiny running away, but here comes Life Steer with all the damage. There's no way you're gonna stop him. He's just running in towards everybody. Now does need to make an exit. No more stuns here to help you out. Ember Spirit not happy about that move. Life Seer, you gotta get out of here. Does get rooted in the middle of the lane, but there's the blade coming in again. There's the toss and the avalanche. But too many people teleporting in on the side of Newbie. So much assistance. It's 4v2. Tiny gets caught. Now Life Seer all alone. And oh. now we do have the Warlock coming in to turn things around. The fight continues. Fatal Bonds on everybody. They just need a couple more hits to pick up the, Life Seer, uh, the Ember Spirit, but not gonna get it. So it is two drums picked up on Newbie, which isn't the end of the world nowadays. Um, it's actually still pretty good because, uh, you know, Juggernaut will often run through all of his charges early on. And uh, it's oftentimes Ember Spirit also staying on the other side. Of the uh, Juggernaut caught out a little bit alone, did see them, but maybe moving a little bit too late. There's the blink and there's the toss so right into the water. chain stun. I, I don't know if he had Dyer's Blade Fury off cooldown at that point, fortified. but it, was, it would have been very greedy Radiant for him not to use it uh, at that point in time. 3,000 gold lead now Radiant's as they're going to try and build into the Echo attack. Saber next for Tiny. Accelerate his farm and like we talked about this is going to be a oh, quick burst. another blink in a combo and that's just it. I mean, this is the thing. There's there's so I mean, if they take it, this fight afterwards, Warlock should have ulti back up in a second. I don't think that this is the fight's take. Uh, newbie seem pretty curious, so they're gonna jump onto Life Zero. They do get a lot of damage onto him to boot. We do have the teleports rushing in on the side of Signal Ultra, so Signal sticking to that fight. They try to get the avalanche, they're not gonna hit it, but here comes the Warlock. Oh. Fatal Boss with the Golem over all three members of Newbie. They need to run away as fast as possible. That's what I'm saying, man. You can't take the fight like that when there's Golem up. It's just too close to the tower.
Oh, and now Newbie not escaping fast enough again. Blade Fury not used early enough. Jiu goes down again. And another quick couple of kills. They use Vacuum Wall there. It looks pretty good for a moment, but it's not good enough. All right, Newbie. They are s smoked up. Nyx Assassin, of course, staying ahead with his own invis. Just trying to get a little bit of vision. A couple Radiant pings as scanning. you see some movement going into Roche Pit. Life Series not starting it just yet, though. Everyone attack. else from Signal Ultra got... They're gathering around right at the edge of that vision. And now gonna be spotted. As we say, Ember Spear trying to jump in. We are gonna see the blink out. Warlock gets oh, caught out no. a little bit. He just needs to use the golem right now just to get it out. Have it on the map. Meanwhile, on the other side, we do have the Fiend's Grip onto the tiny. It looks like there's the Blade Fury coming out. The fight is split in two. Meanwhile, we have SCCC going bananas as he picks up two kills, oh three kills. And it's going to be only two members left alive on Signal Ultra. Um, the Tiny's starting to drop down as well here. Didn't get the Blade Fury off yet again, but Tiny trying to run. Yeah, it blinks out just in time. The Avalanche and Toss buying enough time. And Lifestore trying to turn things around right now. Is it going to be enough? Has to go through the wall. Is committed to pick up that Nyx Assassin. So they do trade three for two. A little bit of a constellation for Signal. Uh, of course, Newbie has to be aware. We saw the scans coming out. Newbie now poising themselves to start yet another fight. They do know that the Warlock ulti's been used. So that's not in their danger. Nightmare on the Warlock, but Warlock just buying some time for the time being. Roche going quite low. Ember Spirit jumps in. Warlock does go down. Maybe a little bit too quickly. Not enough time. But there's the Impale onto the Lina as well. That's going to be two kills once again for oh. NCCC. Roche doesn't get finished. The Epicenter has to jump out of the pit, and now Roche goes down. Nando barely picks up the Aegis. He's still alive. He invests in onto the Sand King. They're ready for another fight, but Newbie has to back out. Yeah, they got to be careful. It's Fatal Bonds on yeah, all of them. Bonds and a Crash Strike under three people. SCC Life Zero come back out. SCCC doing what he can. There's a wall right in the middle. The Aegis has been pumped already. Can Nando make it worth it as Tiny puts down the damage? Nando's back out on Life Zero. Now teleporting out of there. He does get cut in. Ember Spirit jumps in. SCCC going for more kills. They don't want to let this advantage slip through. Newbie doing what they can. They'll try to pick up the Tiny. He uses the Avalanche. Is it going to be enough? A vacuum back in. Lena now going to get cut out as well. Oh, Newbie, you did it to him. Easy peasy. Triple kill for SCCC. Wow. Nando shows back up, but it's not Radiant enough. It's a little too late. Fortified. They should have Warlock ulti. This could be big for them. Yeah, Signal Ultra, I think, looking to turn things around. Like you said, Lyrical, they're just waiting. They're waiting for Newbie to show up. They Radiant know that they need to be wrapping around. They've seen the smoke. They do spot the entire team, and we see the blink going in from Nyx Assassin. Jumping away from the life sphere. SCCC jumps in onto three bowls of dodges. The Avalanche Whoa. tries to turn this around, but we're going to see Erwin pick up the kill right away. The Golem comes out. Fatal Bonds onto two. Meanwhile, we see the toss going in. We do have kills going left and right. Nando still alive, going for a couple extra kills, but SCCC is the one to catch. Can you catch the Ember Spirit? No, we're going to see the Yules to keep the life zero in place. Nando, you don't have an exit. You're just going to have to be left behind by Tiny, and it's another four kills.